Good evening, I'm Konstantinos Kulaikis from Study Medicine and today we're going to talk about failing. Failing is a very relevant topic in medicine. Why? Because medicine is difficult. And when you're studying a lot, maybe sometimes it's not enough. So what you should do, if you fail, let's say that today you did your exam and you failed. First, you have to leave for the whiskey on the side, the vodka, whatever you drink, to for the for the celebrating moments of when you're studying medicine. So leave the whiskey on the side and listen, listen what, what I have to tell you about failing, because I failed. And also, many people failed it in, in exams in medicine. The first thing you should do, in my opinion, is to take the responsibility of failing. It's very important. It's like the most important thing that you can do when you fail is take the responsibility. And this is not easy, I know. Like the first moment after you're failing, the first hour, you cannot say that's your fault. But in order to become a better student and become a, a, to know more, you have to recognize that it's a lack of knowledge of your knowledge that lead to this result. Not the examiner, not the lack, not the question that you had. They say that the, both the question that you had and the examiner depends. The examiner is like, is your knowledge showing to the examiner so the examiner was not happy with your knowledge? So it's your fault. And the uh, second one, which question you have is like, no, you have to know the same, all the questions at, at the same point. So you cannot say that these two things, it's again yourself. So you take the responsibility and you see, I have problem in these topics. Not the one that you failed on. This won't be appear, maybe won't appear again. Um, the the one uh, the, the you have to see where is the problem in the whole material. Like I have I had pro I don't know so well these questions. The ones that you know well, you just repeat them once, twice, and you are fine. The ones that you don't know well, you have to go through, so you don't fail in the second second attempt again. So uh, you take your responsibility, you find your mistakes, you correct them, you study a bit more, and you go to the exam again. And you see what happens, and you can repeat it. I think you, I think the more often in the second in the second term you will be successful. This is what happens generally. I have to tell you because it's really important. It's a stigma of failing, and I I honestly believe that we have to remove this shitty thing, the stigma of failing. It it causes only problems. I'm gonna tell you the story. Now. In physiology, in the second year, I failed uh, twice. The first time I went without studying, just about, I studied only the practical part and, I, and, the, and a bit of the written. I had a good knowledge from biochemistry actually. And I went there to try, I said maybe, you know, maybe I will get a question like endocrine system and I can say that from my biochemistry knowledge. But I failed, I had some bad question, difficult about the heart that I didn't know from biochemistry. So that day, then I went more two times in the exam and I... I failed, I failed the second time and I passed in the third attempt. Now I recognize what made me, what made me the cost as I am now, with the knowledge I have now, is that failure in physiology. Because if I have passed at the first attempt that I went without studying so much, then I wouldn't know physiology and I wouldn't know pathophysiology. And this will continue in a domino to the internal medicine. And maybe I would, now would be, I would like to go for surgery that you don't need so much knowledge from the clinical years. So, you know, like in the end, failing is not so bad if you consider that in the end you know more than someone who went first and then he passed. You studied some time more. And medicine is like that. Medicine is, you study five hours, you know A knowledge. You study 10 hours, you know 2A knowledge. If you, if you study, if I study five hours and you study 10, definitely you're going to know more than me as a doctor you can take failing as a something more soft point in your in your in your life like you can continue study better after maybe maybe this failure will help you to to continue and be a better student and a better doctor so let's add, let's remove the stigma of failing it doesn't mean anything either way like I'm on. I failed I know all my friends and probably this is why they are my friends they failed before the people that they've never failed, I've noticed one thing. They are very stressed, in generally. Not all of them, but the ones I know. And secondly, they they get stressed with small exams and and they don't know exactly where is the point that they need to stop studying. 
because they never fail. They don't know how. Okay, I said so much and I fail. So I study the that much and I pass. If you never fail, you know this that much. So I, I don't tell you go fail. I just say you know I've seen that. So let's re remove just stigma of failing and then do whatever you can. I um, okay. Last conclusion about this thing. Uh, get your pieces together, see the problems that you have, and remember that in the second attempt and in the third attempt, not in the 25th attempt or 5th or 7th attempt, but in the second and third attempt, you will know more than what you knew before. So don't worry and go study. Thank you very much. Like us on Facebook, Study Medicine. You will find the, in the info below the link and good luck with everything and the most important thing don't worry everyone fails good night last five days last week maybe and i did also a bit in this section i was taking a big pic a big picture in my netters this is why i told you that netters is an important book you take a, a picture like in the one in the page uh, let me find one okay this is per, this is what i use exactly you take go to page 300 uh, 16 okay this one